Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at this table and determining what kind of function would best model this relationship. So first we're going to look, is it decreasing or increasing? Okay, and so how we do that is as one variable increases, does the other one increase or decrease? So as time increases, note that the number of bacteria decreases. So when we go from zero to two, that's an increase in time in the positive direction, the number of bacteria decreases. And so that means that this is a decreasing function, decreasing relationship. Next, what we're going to want to find out is it exponential or linear, right? So we have only these two in, these two are out because they're both increasing. So linear, as one variable increases a constant amount, the other one increases by a constant amount, as a constant slope. An exponential function, that's not the case. And if we look at the equation, or sorry, the graph, table, whatever it's called, you'll notice that it's going from 100,000 to 100,000 to 10,000 to 1,000 to 100 to 10. So that's not the same. So you see here, we're losing 900,000. Here, we're losing 90,000. Here, we're losing 9,000, and so on. This is not linear. only option is decreasing exponential. You don't actually need to know that this is an exponential relationship, just the only two options are exponential and linear, and we know it's not linear, so it must be exponential. So that's going to be our answer A. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.